Yes, people, welcome to Jamaica A Topic, where we bring you the hottest and latest news happening in and around Jamaica. Feel free to like the video, feel free to leave your comment, give your opinion on the topic, and most importantly, remember to subscribe. It's a relatively new channel, and we want to build up the channel, so you can go ahead and subscribe, and you can also share the video with a family or a friend. If you like the video, you like the contents of the video, you can go ahead and share the video, all right? So blessings to everyone. Let's get into the video, the hot topic for today. Yes, people. So the hot topic today, as you can see, is two more security guards get shot in Brinks robbery. And as you see the article from the Gleaner down below, which says two security guards shot in beryllium attack. All right. So to the, the picture to the top right hand on the screen where you can see the Scotia Bank and you can see a man on him phone and you can see a youth without shirt and another youth and a car, you know, like people are run towards the scene. And then down below, you can see, I believe it's the same youth without shirt, another youth in the green and, not, and somebody else. You can see that they're lifting up someone and they're actually lifting up the security guard who got shot and putting him into the white van. But boy, I tell us to demand them out, demand them out, demand them out. You know, because we recently heard of something like this where previously happened some time ago and nobody never expected it and here it comes another one again. You know, the man, them hungry and when them hungry, they, they take it to the road. So there's an article from the Gleaner which says, reports suggest two security guards were shot in the attack on a beryllium van at Scotiabank in Brayton Parkway, Portmore. A quick response team from Guardsman Group and the police are now at the scene of the shooting. Less than a month ago, gunmen attacked an beryllium team, leaving a security guard dead and two others injured and making off with $10 million in cash at the Portmore Pines Plaza. So that's what I was talking to you about. So we know that something like this previously happened. It is the same beryllium, but it is a different bank. At, this, that, at, the, at the previous one, they were uh, supposed to start out at ATM, I believe, at Jamaica National. And now, you know, they were doing their transactions as the guardsman about to service another machine uh, uh, by, with Scotiabank. Uh, in Portmore, you know, and that happened. So, boy, them just have to know so when the youth them hunger them out, and we not say we support anything at all, but boy, we just glad to know innocent civilian not get hurt. That's the most important thing, you know, and see, the other, the other thing here, as you can see right here, so it's showing, say, you know, at the beryllium van right there, so, and this screenshot shows the, the point where shatter rings off of the van, you know, because when you look, you can actually see like shot a fly now. You see one man on the ground, a roll, a roll. I don't know if he was one security. And the van a reverse to ease up about the shot them. You know, I was see another white car. They don't know anything about the car. I was see some man a run towards it. Boy, Jamaica. That's all I have to say, man. I don't know what else to say. But greatest thing is thank God no innocent bystanders were hurt. And we will hear more about this. But the man, them hungry. Uh, uh, what happened, what I believe in my thing is that the man them say, yeah, them the one uh, mission the other day and the mission was successful. So the man them say, all right, let's try another mission again. So now watch the video, people. Watch the video again. Thank <laughs> you. 